Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, it's just going to be a pretty short video about when to sell ones to watches, and I might have made a mistake, but I don't think so. So I sold my uh, Richarlson's, let's see, where is he? I'm not sure how much he is right now, but I sold them for like 33k today. Uh, okay, no, no, no. So... Yeah, so I sold mine for 33k today. I saw that he was up. And I'm just going to talk about this because uh, they're on international break. So he's going to be playing for Brazil. And he has been starting for the Brazilian national team uh, at striker. So, and he's been doing pretty good for them. So I was just worried about if he was going to score. Maybe that would have pushed his one to watch up. But... Like, if he doesn't score, the only reason that's keeping him up is because he's um, going to play for them. And that's the only reason he's, like, 30K. Because I bought mine at, like, 26, 25. Um, but I sold mine today for 33. So, what I would suggest for you guys is if you have, like, uh, any one swatches that are going to play, I would say sell before the game or, like, a day before the game just to be sure that you're going to make your uh, coins. And I just want to go over some ones to watches that are playing decent for their uh, nationality. So, Gullivan, I think that's how you say it. Uh, he's just like discard right now. I, I packed mine and I sold some for uh, like 13k. Right now, he's currently, I think you can get him for like 12, 11 point. Okay, he's probably like 12k. But, okay, it, this controller is so broken. <laughs> literally okay okay so he's a little inflated just because he's playing good for Russia and oh okay, yeah so 12.750 so I would say maybe pick one of the, these guys up because he's basically discard just pick one up uh, just in case he scores I mean he's from AS Monaco he's gonna be playing for Russia uh, pick one up for 12k I would say put him in this put him in your club like forget about him basically until he scores because at some point this year he will score a goal unless he gets injured but then you're only losing like not even 1k if he gets injured but hold on I don't have him there I have one goal of in and I just sold my Keita I think let's see oh no I have him so I have my Navi Keita where is he? Right here. But I think I'm going to sell him because, he, like, like what even is that nationality, right? So, I bought him for 39. He's currently going for, like, 41. I'm going to try to sell him for 42 overnight. Just because he's a little... He's not inflated right now at all. And that's kind of bad. But there's not that many on the market. Uh... The only reason he's low right now because he's from a crap nation and Liverpool is not playing. They had a pretty bad game uh, this weekend. But next, in two weeks when he starts playing again, I might buy him a week before his game when he's like 37k. I, I would say he's going to go down to 37k because, I mean, I would not recommend you guys keeping him. I'm going to put him up for 42 just in case he sells. And another player that I wanted to talk about, uh, hold on, is Lamar. Now, this guy is is not. I'm pretty sure he's not starting uh, for the French national team because, actually, I, I'm not even sure, but he's around 60K right now. Um, if he scores this card is over 100k like this card is insane in game he's over 100k like this card's so good in game it just he doesn't i'm pretty sure he doesn't start that's the only reason he's not i could be wrong on that but i know for a fact uh quincy proms nope <laughs> quincy proms uh where is he how much is this guy? Oh. Okay. Uh, I know for a fact Quincy Proms does not start um, 
for the Netherlands team, I'm pretty sure. And he also doesn't start for Sevilla. I think. I'm not sure. But that's the only reason this guy is like super cheap. This card is amazing in game. If you guys haven't used it, I highly suggest you to use him. He <laughs> 90 pace, like three star, five or four star, five star. Like, let's look at his in-game stats. 90 pace, 83, 83. He's just crazy in-game. And if he starts, if he starts to start for his team, then I would say pick this guy up because he's 80k right now. Easily over 100k if he scores or if he starts or ends up starting for any team that he plays for so I would say pick him up but the video this video is basically based on like when to sell and I'm gonna say I would sell your ones to watches uh, either now or in a couple of days like before they play just to be safe to get out of your investment because if they do bad they're gonna go down because they're not playing for their club and Basically, in the next couple of days, some ones to watches are going to dip and some are going to rise. And that's basically, uh, if you want to take the risk, you can. But I got out of my risk Charlsons. I sold five of them for 32, I think. And I bought them for like 26, 27. So I made profit there. And then my Kata, let's check how much he is. Um, I would say, I'm going to try to sell my Kata. For 42k I mean there's not that many on the market there's one for 39 uh, that <laughs> kind of scares me but if I don't sell him and he goes down I might just end up holding him because he's gonna go up for the Liverpool game in a couple weeks so that's just to keep in mind if you guys are looking to buy when they're low I would say you could buy them if they're dipping a little bit because they're gonna go up especially the prim players are gonna go up for their games uh, once again, Gullivan, this is just like, this is just a no risk investment. Basically you put in 12 K. I mean, it's such a no risk investment. I might just buy, I don't know. I already have one, but I would say buy one or two just in case. Cause he, he is scoring for Russia. And if he starts, he will be scoring pro he might score. I'm not going to say he's gonna, but I mean, that's all the ones to watch as I have. And I just have a couple discard in forms, but I mean, this card, I could easily see if he scores going to like 17 because a 79 rated, uh, just normal card would probably go to 80 or 81. Uh, but also another one, speaking of the ratings, 75 rating Dembele. Okay, where is he? Nope, not the transfer list. Uh, 75 rated Dembele. Let's check this out. Uh, where is he? Musa Dembele. He's, I think he's like 15k right now. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Oh, wow. He's actually really cheap. Um. Okay, how much is he? 13.750. So, this card... I don't know what to think about, but all I'm saying, if this guy scores and somehow manages to like even get an idea that he might be in a team of the week, this card's going to be 81 rated, 82 rated. I mean, it's going to be so overpowered, probably 80, I'm not, I don't want to say the stats, but probably like 85 pace, 78 shot, or like 80 shot, 88 pace. It's just going to be crazy, this card. And he'll probably be a 20k once to watch after that. But, I mean, if you could pick this guy up for under 13, I would say that's definitely a buy. Uh, even though he's not going to start for France. But, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't start for... Yeah, he definitely does not start for France. But, yeah, I mean, whenever you guys want to sell, you should definitely sell before the game unless you want to take the risk. If you have multiple... I would say sell half or more than half, depending on like what card it is. If it's Keita, I would say in a couple of days it's buy time for him, and maybe even a few players uh, from the Prem that are from bad nations like 
Uh, n not necessarily bad nations, but like, uh, what's his name? I think this is how you spell it. Yeah, like this guy, Jorginho. I'm pretty sure this is like 50k maybe. Yeah. So this guy's 50k, right? Chelsea's not going to have a game for two weeks. He's probably not going to start for Italy. Italy. <laughs> and, oh, what the heck? My phone just went off. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's not going to start for Italy. If this card dips below, because he's definitely going to go down. If he goes below, like, 50, I would say that's a steal. Because... I mean, yeah, he's not going to play for Italy. He's definitely going to go down just like Keita. So pick him up whenever he's at his lowest point. I would say in a couple days, maybe even a week from now, I want to say. But then that might be too late. Just whenever you see he's low and notice his trends on the market, then you should definitely pick him up. Pick a couple of them up, actually. I might be doing the same. And one more thing that I want to mention in this video, totally unrelated to one to watch is... Uh, is icons uh, where are they right here so icons have been going up a lot the cheapest one right oh what the heck the cheapest one right now is a couple days ago was like 220 and now 250 is the cheapest so people are getting coins to buy these icons and they're gonna want them in their teams and I would say if you're going to buy an icon for your team, you need to buy it as soon as possible. Uh, let's just take Puyol, for example. This is a card that I traded with a couple days ago. Uh, I bought him for 273k, I think. Hold on. And now I doubt he's even under 300. Okay, 300k. So today I saw him. His cheapest was like 330 so people are getting money and they're buying icons and I'm going to say buy as soon as possible. Another one is Vieira. Oh. Another one is Vieira, right? Where is he? Oh, oh my god, can I not spell this card? Uh Where is he? His baby. Here we go. His baby was like 600 a few days ago. Or, no, no, not 600. 700, I mean. And now he is about 1.2. Like, that's just crazy. This card was 700, 800. I think today I saw him around 900. But just, like, overpowered icons are just going for way too much now. It's, like, insane. But I just wanted to make that point because... If you guys are looking to buy an icon, I would buy it now. I think I'm going to sell my investments pretty soon. I have a couple companies that I got for like 11. Um, I have a couple informs, prim informs that I'm going to sell. Uh, I <laughs> this is a card that made me lose a lot of profit. But I'm probably not going to sell this card. Like unless he goes up i want to break even with this card even though it might take a month or two but i mean he's played five goal he's played five games scored four i uh, got one assist it's a super sub so he's doing pretty good stuff for me so i might just keep him honestly even though i bought him for 38k uh my demarcus is or demarcus they're doing good got him for 20k he's like 25 what else pellegrini i bought a couple today for like 13 he's now 15 Costos is also one that I'm like not really sure of but I mean he's definitely gonna make me money I just don't know how much yet but I might save all those informs for another video so I think that wraps up this video just talking about one swatches and a little bit of icons so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you're liking this I don't want to call it a series because it's not really a series but if you're liking these trading videos, investing videos, uh, just like basically like trade, I'm, I'm hoping to trade to like 10 mil. And right now, if I sold everything, I think I would have around 1 mil. So <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. But yeah, I'm going to help you guys out every day, hopefully every week. 
uh, just trading and the market in general. So if you are new and if you're liking these videos, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment down below what videos you want to see. Uh, some more of these videos, more sniping filters, trading methods, any of those. And I hope this video helped you. And yeah, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.